Thank you so much for joining me today uh, as I share with you another uh, gold nugget from our marriage um, that I've entitled simply communication. You know, communication is critical for a successful marriage. You know, male and female, we are so, so different. You know, as a male, I'm actually quite a stubborn person and I had to learn the hard way about how to communicate with my wife. But I did learn. Um, not perfect yet, but we're in the process of getting better. And we found that communication is really the foundation of the marriage union. The, to be able to communicate with each other. You know, um, there are three aspects to communication. Number one, listening. Number two, listening. And number three, talking. And I had to discover that because I always thought it was talking, talking, talking and not listening. And listening is a, a very, very important part of communication. You know, I think God has given us uh, um, a picture of what communication is like because he's given us two ears and one mouth. And I think he's trying to say something to us in the communication process that we should uh, listen more. And so I just want to share three very brief things with you today uh, on this whole topic of communication because it's so massive. And in our three to five minutes that we have uh, once a week, um, I just want to share some gold nuggets and something that we've embraced as a couple uh, in our communication process. So number one is make time daily for face-to-face -face communication. You know, we live in this technological world where it's texting, where it's Facebook messaging, it's Instagram. And so a lot of our communication is done electronically or digitally. And um, that really doesn't count. And I want to encourage you, make time every day for face-to-face -face communication. Because that says something to your husband or to your wife where you can sit down and talk to each other. The second thing that I want to say is listen, listen, listen with this ear. What is your spouse saying? And listen with this ear. What is she not saying? You know, very often there are just so many uh, facets to listening. And sometimes we only get a snapshot of what the person is really trying to say. And so using both ears, what he said and what is not said the hidden feeling or the, the hidden message would maybe not coming through that you need to discover and ask questions as well. So I want to encourage you, listen with both ears. The third thing that works for me is that I always try and put myself in my wife's shoes. So in communicating and bringing across a, a particular struggle or, or trying to decide what we should do, I always put myself in her shoes. Why is she thinking like that? Because I'm a male and often I think in my waffle brain um, because and I miss things. And so what has helped me in my communication and understanding of my wife is I try and look at everything from her perspective. Why is she thinking that? Why is she saying that? What is the underlying feeling? And that has brought clarity and understanding and in helping me uh, in my communication of listening and talking. And so I hope that as you put this into practice, I challenge you to put it into practice, face-to-face -face communication, listen both ears and try and put yourself in your spouse's shoes. Till next time. Thank you.